This is one of the biggest that we've ever done. The most requested, and we're gonna win. So today we're making the big map. Okay, wait, right now I have the most important announcement we've ever had on this channel in the history of this channel. Yeah. Today is the first day and the launch of something I've been working on in the background for a while, my cookbook. Let me explain. <laughs> everything you should not be doing with my book. It is out for pre-order today, right now. You can go to Amazon, go to the link in the description, pre-order the book. The more pre-orders, the better it is for us. We worked really hard on this for you. This entire book is an exact reflection of everything you guys have asked for from me. Not every single thing, because I only have so much time to, to do that. We'll do another book. But this one is a lot of those things in a book. So go to the link in the description, click on it, go pre-order, get that done. Papa love you, Papa kiss you. So much work has gone into this and I know very much. Okay, now that we've done that, don't forget to pre-order the book. I know I've said it a million times, but let's talk about this Big Mac. If you don't know the Big Mac, it's literally just a burger with an extra bun in the middle and makes it tall, or it makes it appear to be tall. It seems that every time you actually order a Big Mac, you're like, oh, that's like, that's about a tenth of the size that I expected for some reason, because it's just not that big, it's not that exciting, it's got way too much clout, and we're here to just... We're here to shake things up. There's not much else I need to say. Of course, we're gonna make all the buns from scratch, but this time we're using sesame seeds, which I know I've said is a no-no. Without further ado, let's do this one, shall we? <coughs> Back at McDonald's. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned McDonald's? Mac. That's a lunchtime powerhouse right there. Yeah, you're gonna be powering your way through the toilet. Hi, uh, can I get a Big Mac? Thank you. Did you see the skill? She didn't even look. She was just like, it's just like, she's done that. She be on that. So we've got the bag. I see that they've decided to finally fix their design after we've complained about it many times on this channel. Coincidence? Absolutely not. I see what they did. It wasn't the bag that they fixed, because then they put it on here. Big Ma. Oh, Big Mac. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see it because you designed this like yeah, and by the way, let me just make a quick point because I know I'm being mean, but this is a billion dollar company. Billions of dollars to make this as good as possible. So that's why I'm not very nice about it. It's not like one person is like, I worked on that. This is like a 30 person job. Now I'm annoyed. Now I don't even want to need this. Yo, come on. What is this? Their website starts off with mouthwatering perfection. This smells like the bathroom of In-N-Out. I really don't want to swallow. Got this one in the bag, boys. All right, folks, if you've been around here and we want to fully flex on Mickey D's, then you know we're making our own buns. Papa's plump buns. If you will. Here's a little refresher on how I make this Hokkaido style burger bun. The most important thing is a tang zong. It's basically a thick roux that helps bring a little more spring and fluff to your bread. It's very easy. In a small saucepan, add two tablespoons or 18 grams of all-purpose flour. Whisk in a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of whole milk and two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of water. Whisk it till smooth, put that on the stove over medium heat and let that cook while stirring occasionally until it thickens, which literally only takes like 30 to 60 seconds. Then just scoop your goop and place it to the side. Next, in a container, add half a cup or 120 milliliters of whole milk and half a cup plus two tablespoons or 150 milliliters of water. Heat that so it's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, then mix in one and a half tablespoons or 21 grams of granulated sugar, then whisk in two and a half teaspoons or eight grams of instant yeast, and let that sit until it gets nice and frothy. Now, snag a stand mixer, and in the bowl, add three and a half cups or 525 grams of bread flour, in two teaspoons or seven grams of fine sea salt. Give that a little toss, turn your mixer on to medium low, and add all of your yeasty milky froth. Your tang zong, which now looks like a weird gelatinous hockey puck, one whole egg, and one egg yolk. Let that mix for about two to three minutes or until it begins to form a smooth dough. Then add three tablespoons or 42 grams of softened unsalted butter, one tablespoon at a time. Emphasis on softened. If it's hard, it won't incorporate into the dough. And papa have a really big sad. Anyway, let that mix until the dough is a smooth boy. Plop that dough out of the stand mixer, roll it into a light ball, and place it in a greased bowl. Covered with plastic wrap, be sure to give him a soul and a name that truly exudes respect and regality. And let it rise at room temp for one hour or until... 
and doubled. Now, love your little dough man, respect him, and then release him from this world from whence he came. Be sure to degas it nicely and place your dough onto an unfloured counter divided into eight to nine equal pieces depending on how big you want them. Roll each piece of dough into a nice doit ball and place those all evenly spaced apart on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I gave these a little extra breathing room and put the remaining dough balls on a separate baking sheet. Now, cover those with another inverted rim baking sheet and let that proof at room temp for 30 minutes. Then just brush each of your buns with egg wash, which is literally just one beaten egg with a splash of water. Then just give all of those a beautiful sprinkle with sesame seeds. Look, I know I said I was against them, but maybe that was an overstatement. There's a time and a place, and this is a must today. Anyway, bake those at 375 Fahrenheit with convection, ideally for 17 minutes or until deep golden brown and gorgeous. Now, pull those puppies out and immediately brush them with melted butter and let them cool on a wire rack completely. This here is a culmination of all my secret recipes that will never ever be released anywhere else but this book. That's not actually in the book. That was a complete lie, I made that up. The only way you're gonna find out what's in the book is for you to pre-order. Link is in the description. Thank you so much. Click the button, click. <sighs> all right, thank you. Okay, we have Papa's buns. Now let's talk sauce. Not just any sauce, our more exciting Big Mac sauce. Start off with half a cup or 120 grams of mayonnaise, three tablespoons or 42 grams of ketchup. Look, technically they don't use ketchup in theirs from what I understand, but I don't care and this makes it significantly better in my opinion. Three tablespoons or 42 grams of yellow mustard, one finely diced bread and butter pickle, like the whole pickle, not a slice, with a splash of its juice, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, three tablespoons of brune moi, which is just an ultra fine dice of sweet onion, one clove of grated garlic, season that bad boy to taste with salt and pepper, give it some whiskey business until thoroughly combined, and that's it. I mean, look at this stuff. I'd like to jump off and take a little bath in this. Or maybe not. Maybe that's a little too far. Why, why do I say these things? Okay, we're almost there. Let's just get our toppings put together. Snag some iceberg lettuce. You only need half a head because for some reason, half a head produces like 4,000 kilos. Shave that nice and thin so you get little iceberg ribbons. Place it into a bowl along with optionally a small handful of fresh Italian parsley that's been finely chopped in the zest from one lemon. Look, I like to add the herb and zest just to give it a little bit of freshness. Now toss all that together, and that's your lettuce component. If you want onion, please slice that beauty super duper razor thin, but most importantly, give them a nice rinse under cold water after slicing. This will help reduce some of their bite and any bitterness and leave a fragrant, delicious, and sweet onion flavor. Plus, it improves the crunch. So, uh, what are you doing, brother? Wash your dang onions. Okay, it's assembly time. First thing, get two buns. Of those, you're gonna cut one of them in half, and then the other, you're going to cut just a round slice that's the same thickness as one of your bun halves so you get that three-tier effect. You know the procedure, toast your buns in butter in a pan, kinda like your grilled cheese, until roasty toasty and lovely on all cut sides. For the burger patty, I'd recommend fattier ground beef. I prefer something sub 80% lean, personally, and this is why grinding your own is always going to win. It's not just about flexing. Okay. It's sometimes it's about flexing. Anyway, you'll need two pounds. Separate that into eight evenly sized balls. And please make sure your balls are nice and round. Get a pan that's been lightly greased with oil. Get it screaming hot over medium high heat. Then place a ball into the center. You should immediately hear sizzle. Get a real big spatula. The link for this one is in the description and press it down using the back of the spoon. So it's nice and flat, a little over a quarter of an inch thick and slightly wider than your buns because it will shrink a touch. Now season that generously with salt and pepper and let that sear for one to two minutes or until a rich crisp brown. Flip and oh my lord, that burger sear has me on a one way train to I'm about to bust. Anyway, season the other side generously with salt and pepper and let that sear for one more minute, place to the side and repeat with the other patty. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. All right, let's just do this. Add a cheese slice of your choice to both the bottom bun and the middle bun. I have one slice of aged cheddar and one slice of American only for the nostalgia towards the Big Mac. Give those a nice melt under the broiler or with a kitchen torch. Now to the bottom bun, add your lettuce, followed by your sweet onion, a generous dollop or two of your sauce, your crisp fatty patty. Then to the middle bun, again, add your lettuce, your paper thin crisp sweet onion, and optionally you can add pickles, but if you do, please make sure that they're sliced lengthwise, all right? And 
Anyway, add more sauce, then your other burger patty. Add more sauce to the top of the patty. Yes, I want this big sauce so up. Then grab the top bun, and you know what needs to be done. Crown your king. Now look at this drippy, absolute gentleman of a burger. We killed it with the looks. Now let's see how we did with the taste. We might as well just walk away. They call it the Big Mac. This is a normal burger. This! This is a Big Mac. Big Macs are big. It sounds big. It sounds like a truck. Yeah, uh, 2468. Oh, uh, we're coming on down the road. Yeah, he's got a big one. It's one of the Big Macs, yep. There comes the challenge of figuring out how to eat this. Oh my god. Look at this. This is what I'm about to bite. Don't you want to bite that? Oh, mama. We won, thank you so much. I really have nothing to say other than the fact that, for one, this is a burger. This tastes like a burger. The buns, it's buttery. The meat is rich and fatty and beefy. You can really taste the And you've got the two kinds of cheese, the American cheese and the smoky Gouda. The onions have been washed so they just retain their sweetness and oniony flavor, but it's not overly bitey. This is a burger. This is really big. Vikram is gonna be our decider for the day. Ah! Dun, 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 dun. Number one. Wow, big man. <laughs> All right, I'll get on with it. Number two. Oh my god. Number one. <laughs> Number two. Number one is yours and the winner. This was massive and massively delicious. And this was. Get the underwear out of here! It's kind of like wearing underwear on your face. Not that I would know what that's like, but anyway. We won, but better episode, it doesn't even matter because this is the Big Mac. The one thing you should take away from this is make your own buns. Make your own buns and you too could have one of the greatest Big Mac burgers, sorry, the greatest Big Mac burger that has ever lived. You wanna know what else is full of multi-tiered towers of juicing meat? B-roll. And that is it. So we made the Big Mac, but better. The cookbook is out. This is just such a momentous moment. It's a special time, right? I'm very excited about this. We absolutely killed this recipe. It was insane. Would I do this again and make a Big Mac again? Honestly, I see the middle bun as a completely purposeless addition and it just makes it look really cool, but you don't need to include the third little extra bun in the middle and it is going to be just as good. It's it's not that special, all right? So again, the cookbook is out. Please visit the link in the description. Pre-order your copy. You gotta pre-order now. It's more important to pre-order than to buy it when it comes out. I'm just being honest with you. So I hope to see you there in the link in the description. But with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you.